Hey, what's up, guys? It's the week of January 27th, um, closing out the first month of the new trading year. It's another weekly recap with the trading experts. All right, let's get right into it. The big news everyone's talking about, Dow 20,000. Uh, we finally, you know, we were sitting up here. We tickled it a few times, but uh, never really were able to make a move through. Then this week, we saw that move finally happen after the consolidation, after they kind of gave a fake-out move that looked like we might break down for a bit. So we finally hit it. That news is behind us. Truly, it means nothing to the market. Um, you know, it's it's just a headline grab. That's all they're really doing right there. Something to talk about. But uh, let's let's go through the overall market. Um, last we spoke last week, we were awaiting, seeing which way these inside weeks were going to break up. Market had very two very quiet weeks of consolidation, and this week this week we saw that consolidation break higher, um, indicating. The market's strong, and you know we've seen that throughout the whole Trump rally. People were thinking once he was inaugurated, it would we would see a big sell-off, kind of a buy the rumor, sell the news type idea. Um, but you know we had a huge week up last week. Uh, but there's been a there's been a lot a lot of news over the weekend. Rallies, Mark America's not really in a great state, so it's going to be very interesting to see where we open up tomorrow. See what's affected, what's not. You know, people are protesting airports. Are the airlines going to sell off? There's a, there's a lot of different um, things that could happen given all the headline news. You know, hopefully we don't go back into that headline-driven market, but we'll see. We can only react, um, have game plans, and go from there. So uh, we had a great week trading. Let's let's get into it. I mean, our trade of the week was Yelp. Uh, right through this high is 41.50, just trending higher. Looks awesome. Um, has earnings this week, Friday the 9th? Oh, no, two weeks. So, uh, the fo- not this Thursday, the following Thursday. Something to look out for. You probably don't want to be in it if uh, into earnings. But, I mean, you know, we executed it off this inside week, and we're just trailing it higher. We're looking for it to take out this 43.36, 52-week high and, you know, continue it to move higher. And right now it's just trending higher. It looks awesome. Um, the huge winner of this week... Sadly, not a ton of people caught it. Um, I caught it. <laughs> I know it's not a lot of members though. They're focused on Yelp and other things. This OLED. If you look back on the weekly chart, it just had this huge wedge, huge monster, monster wedge, and then it tried to break the wedge lower. And we saw, we're looking at this week right here. We saw buyers as they tried to break it down. Buyers just took control and ripped it higher. That's a huge, uh, huge indicator that the stock is strong. Buyers are in control. And it's ready to make that momentum move higher when it gives a fake out move and just rip seller's face off. And that's what we had. We bought it through um, this pivot right here around fifty nine, fifty, sixty dollars a level. Um, I ended up I ended up selling it like sixty six day two. It was just it was a nice uh, quick trade. We should still be in it because it's just so so strong. Um, got a little ahead of myself though. But I mean this this is this is what you want to see in a little wedge break. We immediately knew right away with this. Huge volume coming out of the wedge that this was one to hold on to. That was the big winner of the week right there. Um, let's look into a few more. Uh, this Momo finally triggered. That looks great. Get these arrows out of here. Momo looks awesome. I know it came down a bit to the resistance level, but look where it's holding up. Wouldn't be surprised. Takes out this inside day. It's the upside tomorrow and continues to trend higher. Um, this Weibo, this is a quick one. I mean, I did well with this, but I was kind of quick with it. Uh, I know some of our members stuck, stayed in it a bit. It, I mean, uh, it was pretty tricky. Opened up huge volume um, and ripped higher off the open. We'll go to a 15 minute chart. Oh, that's not good enough. Okay, so this is the morning. This is the 30 minute chart, and this is this is the move uh, it gave right off the open. So I mean, I bought it right off the open and sold a bunch into the strength, uh, just because I know how these Chinese names can be very choppy. Um, and then look at the next you know hour and a half. It took out lows. Dog shit, but um, yeah, these these didn't end up being anything special. They were a nice, uh, quick cash flow trade for me. This had a very similar chart to sign out. Sign looks way better actually. Um, you see how it didn't take out this day's low, the day it ignited, and it's kind of holding these lows. And uh, for a swing trade, if you're if you're still in this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to add off this inside day and have a stop at these lows right here for the add. <clears throat> Just an idea, though. Um, all right, some of the bigger news stories of the week. Uh, Google announced earnings. Let's check out their chart. So technically, they they missed earnings. Technically, 
but their numbers, their sales numbers, their revenue, everything was really great. They just pretty much spent a ton of money of, on R&D and research and development. I think in a company like Google, um, that's really what you want. I mean, they're, they're one of the super innovative tech companies. So, I mean, it didn't have a great market reaction, but I think I think it got a little ahead of itself. Lead is right ahead into earnings. I think it needs to settle out, settle down a bit, um, kind of find support. I'm, I'm going to leave this 840 area, then this 830 area, but I'm definitely going to wait till it um, gives me a signal to get long, but I'm waiting till this one consolidates and gives another move up. I'm, I'm pretty pretty certain it's looking to go higher. Um, what else we got? Here's Netflix. Netflix, very similar to Google, how it gapped up, huge gap up, sell off, and just needs time to consolidate. Now, you could have entered this day. This was really the day one. I know a lot of traders are on, had their eyes on it after three days down, takes out the low, reverses higher. It's usually a reversal sign. <clears throat> I got in Friday. I bought this 140 with a stop uh, below. I had some of my position stop 139 below the low of the day, and then some below this 138 half the prior day's low. Um, I just wanted to have some stock, make sure I was in it, and it ended up working out uh, really well. I didn't want it to go as, uh, I didn't want it to rip as much as it did Friday because I was looking to add. Let's zoom in a bit. I was looking to add over this pivot right here, this kind of resistance area, the 141. So I was hoping it just kind of stayed like an inside day, and then Monday all the eyes would get on and everyone could buy 141. I'm definitely not as excited to buy 143.50 as I was uh, this 141.40 area. So I'm going to wait a bit. I mean, I have I have good stock from good price, but I'm definitely going to sit and wait on it before I look to add right away. Um, but I'm going to have my eyes on this 141, 140. Again, if we open up lower tomorrow, which I kind of expect given all the headline news, um, this one wouldn't be a bad one to look to for a little red to green trade. Um, here's one, one to keep our eyes on in the future. Here's this win. Oh, that's what we showed it. Oh. All right, so this win came out with earnings. Great reaction. Now look at this chart. Huge resistance level at this 104. Go to a weekly chart. Monsters, monsters resistance right here. So what it did, it gapped up. I want to see it hold this gap right here and consolidate for a few days, go sideways, not do much. Um, some low volume days, just not eyes, not a ton of eyes on it. I want it to set up perfectly for this 104 and uh, buy it through those highs of 104. Uh, I think it'd be a great earnings trade. Hopefully it doesn't go Monday or this week. Hopefully it gets some nice consolidation, but that's that's definitely one that's on the radar. Um, oh, how could I forget? Bah bah. Um, these they came out with some nice earnings. This is one to look for. Um, now it's very important that it holds these hundred dollar lows. It's very important when names when earnings names gap higher that they hold the low of the day or they 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 hold that low of support. Now we looked at Netflix. Netflix. Now it's very important this Netflix holds this day's low of one thirty seven. Going forward, so bah bah is a hundred dollar low. The closer you can get to a hundred. If you can get stock close to 100, um, I'd say it's a pretty pretty decent trade uh, if you have a stop below this day. Something to look at. at uh, you want to see a beautiful setup from this Friday. I completely missed it. Uh, Leads this general dynamics. Oof. Man, these are came out. Some nice earnings. Lead that surprise, three, three, a little over 3%. But really, I mean, lead this chart play. Man, you could have bought through these highs. What is this high? 179.19. You could have bought 180. Huge level on the chart. You could tell it the consolidation at highs. And, you know, hit 187.37. That's, that's something, you know, using the stuff we teach is very easy to take advantage of. That's that's definitely one uh, I should have been on top of. But, you know, going forward, we'll, 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 sh we'll, uh, we'll be on it. This week, this week's earnings, we're looking towards we got an exciting week this week facebook huge run off lows um you know i've heard i've heard both ways i've heard people saying you know someone must know something uh because lead that run for earnings lead this momentum and then the other way is you know the, they're taking away the earnings move there's no way it rips higher no matter what the numbers are uh we'll see definitely want to keep the eyes on and everyone's favorite amazon um they got earnings they're right around all time highs. This is all time high, eight forty seven. They have a ton of thousand dollar, thousand dollar plus price targets out there, from all the big analysts and all that. So I mean, I would not be surprised at all. They beat earnings. They're nine hundred dollar stock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazon. Um, some other ones. Uh, UPS has earnings. Uh, Valero. 
MasterCard, over over 200 companies reporting, jam-packed week. So there's going to be a ton of action in the market. We'll, we'll keep you guys posted with everything. Got the trade of the week coming in a bit, but that's all we got for you guys thus far. All right, talk to you guys throughout the week. Uh, really proud of the chat room this week. We really crushed it. Ton of guys making money. Uh, everything we want to hear. Everyone's getting better. Everyone's learning. Really, really getting a community vibe out there. We love it. So we're just going to continue to improve. Keep the research going. Keep you guys posted. All right. Talk to you guys throughout the week.